So in the past few weeks, people have been asking me over and over again, Darius, how can we make profit in the low tier trades? And uh, I explained it to them every single one by one, always took half an hour, 45 minutes. And at this point, I just decided after I got asked to get it again today that I just like recorded the whole process and uh, uploaded it to YouTube so that I can just link the video and uh, answer your questions that way. If you have any questions left after the video, feel free to leave them in the comment section and me on Steam. Um, I will do my best to, to answer your questions. Uh, other than that, I hope all of you learned something from this video and start making some profit. Uh, enjoy the video. Okay, I'm very quickly, uh, because like I'm gonna upload this to YouTube, I'm gonna go over like the best and cheapest way to uh, to buy the keys. Um, yeah. So let me actually stream on Discord. Um, okay. Boom, boom, boom. Screen sharing. Where is it? Bildschirm übertragen. Ah, German is yes. a beautiful language. Yes, it is. Okay. Sounds funny though if you're in a war. <laughs> um, sometimes the Discord stream may get like really bad resolution. If that happens, just yeah. tell me and I'm gonna restart it really quickly. Um, no, it's fine. Okay, yeah, but like if it happens, just tell me. Yes. Uh, first things first, um, I think there are two uh, main like trading sites where, where you can buy keys. I mean, there are many, 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 many. Uh, the yeah. the big, biggest one is probably marketplace.tf. So you can buy here a key for $1.81. And if you want to do it even cheaper, what you can do, and you got to be a bit careful for this, you go on backpack.tf, yeah. right? Yes. And on the top you see forum, right? This is forum. Yes. Click on it and then there is a section under gaming, Team Fortress 2 trades, and here's cash trading subsection. And you go yeah. in there and you see a whole bunch of people like wanting to sell, wanting to sell, like these green buttons. People are selling yes. their keys for $1.36, uh, $1.46, uh, right? Uh, yeah. Selling keys for $1.55. Um, yeah, PayPal isn't that safe, so. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, there are a lot of like PayPal scammers around, but there are like some really like big and trusted people in the community. Yeah. You can look at this Just guy. Check. Yeah, this guy's hundred trust. 100 trust rating. That's really important if you're looking at trust rate. Uh, yeah, like, especially if you're using PayPal. Yeah, you go to the backpack.tf page. You see he has 111 trust ratings on his backpack.tf profile. And you just go through here, guy bought 35 keys, guy bought uh, 30, 383 keys, uh, made a deal with 1,150 keys, stuff like that. So, yeah. like, this guy seems like a trusted individual, right? Um, yeah. You can also look, like, on the rankings, he has one of the top, like, his backpack is number 122. Very, very nice way to tell, like, if he has something on the line. If, like, his backpack is number 5000 something like that he usually doesn't have anything to lose but you can see like he has an estimated uh backpack value of 19000 US dollars so Jesus Christ he has a lot to lose if he uh like scams 10 keys from you uh, and if it's 10, 10 keys like 20 bucks from me he's going to lose yeah he's not going to lose Two all powers. The, uh, yeah he's not going to lose all the 20k but uh it's going to be a whole lot more difficult for him to trade in the future and uh. usually he won't do that but yeah look at like the rank look at the trust rating look at just look if he's legit yeah and the way you do that backpack.tf profile if it's a scammer it will immediately say scammer big and uh, you can also go to the steam rep um but i would personally always recommend to open the backpack on uh, backpack.tf uh because it always uh, always shows you the trust ratings and even though there might not be scammers, some of the people you're looking to trade with, even if you do normal trades, might be not very trustworthy. You are going to get your keys via the Steam Community Market. Um, yes. Actually, no. <laughs> very important. Yeah. Uh, let, let's go over, over this. I'm just going to op open Paint 
and I'm gonna have like a little improvised PowerPoint here um, okay. about like the three main ways for trading, right? SCM S- yes. stands for Steam Community mm, market, market, yeah? Yeah. Next one, P2P trading. P2P actually means peer-to-P, but let's just pretend it's player-to-player pre- trading. That means yeah. like going on backpack.tf, advertising your items there, buying from there, buying from people in your friend list, buying from random people on a trade server, right? That's all included yeah. in like player to player trading and yeah. the last thing that is a part of player to player trading but I would exclude is cash trading and you can make profit in all three of these right yeah um, but for the start you want to stay out of this area unless you really yeah. want to trade with keys and you're looking to buy keys at the start then find a very trustable seller and buy some keys but don't try to like at the start buy backpacks for a big amount of money. Just mm. I wouldn't recommend it. With these two, like the main difference, I would say is that in Steam Community Market, is more profit, and in P2P trading, there's more fun, right? For like newer players because you talk to a lot of people. Um, and you will hang around on trade servers on the steam community market it's mostly creating buy orders and such um but since you're looking to trade for profit i would as a start always recommend you the steam community market i'm going to go over a few ways showing you how to profit from the steam community market and then i'm going to go over a few ways to show you how to profit from the player to player trading because I mean, it's just it's just more fun, and people always want to get into it. And I mean, it would be mm-hmm. a miracle if you just stayed with the Steam Community Market. So yeah, let's just head over to the Steam Community Market, and obviously you're gonna get your balance in the in the top right corner. Yeah. And um, the first thing I would recommend you to do, even though you like you have balance already, like as yeah. soon as you use that card is to just go through your backpack and sell everything that you don't need. Everything? Everything. Right? You mean per community market or...? Per community market. Yes, at the start, like, there's just way more profit in community market. Sell your stuff there and then make some profit with it. The more you invest now, the the more profit you're going to make. Just a quick overview. Uh, on the top you have, like, uh, the, the items you're selling. Then you have your buy orders. And down here is like what other people are listing. And on the right side, you have your filter. And that's the the important part for right now. For now, just go with Team Fortress 2. I mean, if you want to get into other games later, always a smart idea idea to like diversify. But right now, we're just going to do Team Fortress 2. And we're going to look for items that we can buy cheap and sell for a lot of profit right um of course these items can't be liquids right we can't do that with keys you can't do that with, with two of duty tickets one thing you have to remind uh, yourself of is that the steam community market always takes a 13 percent fee right if the item that you're buying you can't sell for at least 13 percent more it's not going to yeah, be profit, it's not right? worth it. exactly yeah, so i should probably look at 50 percent otherwise it's just tedious even 15% is comparably very, very small and maybe even stupid. I'm going to show you some deals <clears throat> where like, you wouldn't even believe they existed if we're just going to look for a bit. you gotta be a, you got to be a bit creative here, right? you got to think yeah. of stuff that no one wants to trade with, right? Oh, that's what I was, think- was talking about. So illiquid items. I mean, everyone wants to trade with liquid items. If you get a chance to get liquid items for the items you're selling, that's wonderful, uh, right? Yes. What you're looking for are the filthy, dirty shit items that everyone else despises, right? Let's go for war paints, right? 
because look the the, the war paint itself doesn't have to be rare but the the version of the war paint that's interesting uh -huh. right we go for a strange yeah you say all oh, right because like who the fuck cares about war paints yeah i said how would i ever sell that yeah what you care about is profit we go for war paints we go for strange because there are even less strange war paints and there are normal war paints uh -huh. now we have all the strange war paints we can sort by price we can start with the cheapest ones and we can go through them not fabric new again because mm, they're easier to sell no that's what a lot of people think and that's why they mm. are over a board what you really care about is you click on the item and you look at a price that they are sell. buying and selling for right Right. You see there's sell orders for 82 cents, buy orders for 50 uh, for 65 cents. And like this wouldn't be a good deal. I mean, if you just and a very nice tip to like uh, look faster is uh, you copy the page URL, you go into your browser, you open it. And I mean, I'm just going to skip the first few pages because they're not interesting for me. I just a bit too low like price wise um let's go like page six something like that and then you can just middle was middle mouse wheel open a lot of them like in a new tab uh, and then look at the buy order slower look at this right you can buy this item uh, for 77 cents and it's less. getting reselled yeah i mean 70 if you try to buy it for less someone else will buy it right Oh, it's getting bought for like, like there's a buy order for 76 cents. So I click Kauf und Draka stellen. I'm going to blur this out. Um, okay. And I just hit the 77 cents. You have this graph here and you can see that this item sells for full price. One, two, three, four, five times a month. Right. Yeah. So don't have any prejudice against items like oh it's not going to sell look at the data look at the graphs here and they will uh. tell you it sells quite frequently and then you just go through them and then you see okay again this is a hundred percent profit make a buy order on this this one you can even make 300 percent uh, 200 percent profit if you buy it for 50 cents sell it for uh, for more and like if if you find these war paints too boring, you can move up in the price. War paints really very interesting. I've made a whole lot of war pa uh, a whole lot of profit with war paints, especially when they are new. I've sold, I've bought war paints for like a hundred euro and then flipped them for two hundred with like two uh, within two days. You go to like a, any any YouTube like video, and they say, oh yeah, you need to get like into flip flipping unusuals. You need to uh, uh, I'm not buy. Doing good. Yeah, buy painted heads, buy like strangers with parts on them. Like some, there's still profit in that, but it's so much more difficult than it used to be. And that's because like everyone is like jumping into these niches. Like this is a like pretty easy to abuse niche. And like just get creative. I say war paints, right? But you can, yeah. instead of war paints, you can go for like, uh, Professional Kill Kill streaks. Streaks. Uh. Again, the the more like desirable the item is, the more people yes. will create buy orders for it. Right? So, so the there's more competition. More competition? Exactly, you got it. Right? More competition means less profit uh. for you. So again, we're not looking for to, to flip nice smelling perfume, right? We're uh. we're looking to flip dog shit, right? Alright. So there's a professional kills with huntsman, non strange. Already, this is no profit. If there are too many of the normal ones, you can say yeah. like, oh well, what what would make it even rarer, right? Because like you can make it even right. less liquid by just saying, well, less liquid than normal vintage. Let's go for vintage items. Vintage professional kill streaks. Jesus Christ! Ah, uh, they're already extremely. Oh wait, no, it's fine. Yeah, they're extremely expensive, but what are the buy orders, right? That's the important part. Yeah. 
Click Press this. is already no. probably too high. Mm -hmm. Press trick is probably too high because that's something what people really like. Crit yeah, crit people like crit screen, right? But like you can buy yeah. this and sell this, and while it's not like the huge profit from wall paints, still good yeah. profit, right? Uh, look at yeah. this, yeah. Home wrecker. Home wrecker. Who the fuck wants a vintage professional kill streak home I wrecker? I would like a home wrecker because I hate to pray high bro. <laughs> then then create a buy order for it, right? Create a kill buy order, five. two euro like fifty seven cents, and like it's not a not going to sell as fast, and like this is like a really lucky sale, but you can see like it. It sells for like four euros, right? It's still great. Of yeah. euros. That's like yeah. so much more profit than you were going to make, like going on a trade server and uh, trading buy orders on backpack.tf. So, like you, vintage items, they work. They they make you profit as well. Another way, um, if you don't want to do vintage and I just like pushing it to the extreme, you can also like. Go for faster wise. Genau, uh, exactly. Faster wise. Ich verstehe Deutsch. <laughs> so, and the, the idea of just looking for faster wise item is to get lower liquidity, right? Because, like, faster wise professional kill streaks are even rarer than non faster wise professional kill streaks. Oh. And, I mean, we can even try our luck on something that's fairly desirable, like a shotgun. And you see, look at this. If you go to uh, lifetime, Okay, like this is like eighty percent profit. What does the scatter gun say? What well, it has name tag. Hmm? It's name tagged. Ah oh, yeah, but like that doesn't change the price. It doesn't? Name tag no you can always remove the name tag. Oh you can. Oh, yeah. Done. Never mind. So like you can go to the lifetime and see like what would you Profit B, buy it for 13, resell it for 20. And then, of course, if you go to the less desirable weapons, the profit again should be higher. And, yeah. but of course, the liquidity is going to go down. So, the lower the liquidity, usually, the higher your profit. So, you want to find uh, the middle sweet spot where you have a high liquidity, and which means you will buy them fast and sell them fast, but also have a high profit. Yeah. And just like scan through the community market, and once you move up the ladder, like collector items, collector items are can be insane profits, right? I'm not gonna go too deep into them. Just have a really quick look. I like the first collector's items, lifetime sir, like bought for twenty, sold for thirty five. Bought for thirty five. Yeah, that's huge. That's huge, yeah. And like, that happens within a few weeks, right? This is this is one week where you bought it and you sold it. Oh, for so it's more or less the waiting game. Yeah, you can actually, if you if you want to maximize your profit, you can um, you can not only uh add, sell your items on the Steam community market, right? You can also yeah. go on trading servers and uh, create a bind and say like I'm selling these items trade me and when they uh -huh. trade you you say yeah it's on the same community market do you have any offers for it and uh, then you just like see if they give you a good offer don't get personally offended if someone's trying to lowball you because it's gonna happen uh -huh. all the time and I do it all the time it's like perfectly fine lowballing of course meaning you should always pay more than buy orders Right. If you offer less than buy yeah. orders, I think that's a uh, that's a little Ridiculous. bit too much. Yeah. So look at the buy orders and just offer a little bit more than it. You have to realize there's uh, if you get into the uh, into the area of like fifty dollars. Yeah. What's gonna happen is like bots dominate these areas. Oh. Uh, if you yeah sure. If you go to backpack.tf unusuals, I uh, I don't know it's just look at any baddest helmet circling hearts and oh god so many bots it's like so many bots and if there was a bot selling this as well like that's the worst case scenario bot buying and bot selling these buy orders and sell orders move as close as like like 10 refined 
which is uh, fucking so ridiculous. Exactly. Yeah. Something that's interesting for other people uh, when we talk about uh, the player to player trading, because I mean, yeah. it's just more fun. Lots of people are trying to get into it. Um, just like a few niches. I mean, we already mentioned look for uh, look for items with parts. Um, when you look for kill streaks, like professional kill streaks, there's a big difference in the value uh, depending on the kill streak and the sheen of the weapon. I, I'm I'm always against trying to rip people off. So if they yeah if they don't know what they are having, like you can inform them. Yeah. And um, just give them a fair price. Yeah, it's a, I would say it's better to have a clear conscience than to make a key profit. Other than that, what else is used for if you want to get into trading? Um, there is, uh, I'm actually going to link that, but uh, f especially for, I mean, for Steam community market, what you want is the Steam inventory helper. Yep. And for player to player trading, what you want, um, there's a temper monkey extension uh, that allows you to execute scripts uh, on uh, your. I, d I don't have a fucking clue how it works, right? But you, you download the temper monkey and then you download uh, a script, and you gotta be a bit careful because last, like there are malicious scripts that you can download, so. Um, only like download from a very safe source. Yeah. I can really quickly like show you how it looks. Um, like this is the Steam inventory helper, and the nice thing about that, if I go, um, you will have to open like Steam in the in the browser, right? Because like it's a browser extension, it's not going to work. And already you can see this is something odd. Red means like it's not the cheapest anymore. I see it right away. Um, I can go to my boom, 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 inventar, Yupsi daisy, that's not the inventory, go to the inventory, and again, like it shows oh. you the prices, and but that's not the interesting part. The interesting part is like, let's say you you get a hundred trading cards or something, or you have a big, large amount of cases, which are worth like four or five no. cents, right? maybe even three yeah. cents and you just want to list them right what you right. can do you open that and then i have it in german but yes. uh, i can multiple uh sell multiple I, items. I have it in german too so yeah it doesn't matter oh you already have it no i'm i mean i have steam in german ah okay yeah um but you can select all the items on one page or like just the ones you want and then you can click like oh sell all the items go on steam community market create as many buy orders as you can i mean at the start it should be like very limited because uh you can only create like a total amount of the total amount of buy orders cannot be worth more than 10 times your uh, steam balance so if you de oh. deposit okay. 20 u euros on steam the total amount of buy orders cannot add up to more than 200 euros right that means 200 mm -hmm. Uh, buy orders for uh, for one euro or it means 20 buy orders for 10 euros right yeah. and right. i mean you should at least try to get 50 buy orders this is how it looks if you open it the yes. Mon monkey extension and let's say i wanted to send you 111 keys i just type add multiple items 111 add keys and there they are Oh, that's useful. Right, and right. Th then I can also say like 20.11 and say add metal, right? And then it's also in there. Right. Uh. Um, ooh, I actually have a trade offer, so let's look at this. Oh, how much am I getting? Scotch and claims. That's so I don't know how many keys these are, and I don't want to count them by hand. So, what I do, I open it so. I see, oh, he's offered me 184 keys. And I think that's actually full price. So we go on his profile, we copy the, uh, the like, 
ID into backpack DF to exactly. check if it's trustworthy. Exactly. If he is a scammer and I do this trade with him, I'm going to get banned. Hopefully he is not. Yeah. And he's not. He has a VAC ban. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because exactly. it's not playing. It's trading. S yeah. So the next thing that matters is like how much do I have it listed for? I go to my classifieds. Bum, 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 bum. So one page earlier. I have it listed for 194. Um, 49. And he's off. Oh, yeah, 149. Thank you. Yeah. And he's offering 148. 48. That's um, basically full price. Basically full price. Considering I, like, when I bought it, valued it like around 105 keys. Uh, that's a really good deal. Um, right to the offer. Accepted. So that's actually just wait to think for your load. Why? No. Why bother? I already know it's correct. Again, like there will be scammers in here, there will be scammers in here, and there will be scammers in Everywhere. here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if a deal is too good to be true, every time someone is offering you an item for less than buy orders, be very, very, very careful. Every time someone is adding you and saying he's paying full, uh, full price pure, but there are some other strings attached to it again be very very careful about that um if i would ask you would it be wise to get in low tier trading with 10 keys for example uh you mean play i know it justifies the whole stream <laughs> uh I'm sorry. you mean player to player trading like servers yeah. and buy That's orders i'm used to to do i never really used buy orders uh it's look especially in low tier trading it's not gonna pay a whole lot. So no, is that low tier unusual with ten keys? Low tier unusual? Oh fuck no! Oh, you must be like no offense, but if you get ten keys and you go into unusual trading, you're fucking retarded. <laughs> it's uh, just a lot of videos say that. Like yeah, you, it's like like half of the guides say the sh same shit all over again. Yeah, like, there's so many really bad guides out there. Uh, people Some making of them like five years old. Five years old and they're just changing the like the date in the title and then they start with like scrap banking and I, that's not yeah no scrap banking I'm not gonna try that especially keys of six sixty ref now yeah um look if you just go for like loty unusual hats right let's yes. say and you you want something that sells fair has a, has a chance to sell right let's say air dog yeah. and you go f circling hearts, it's like, oh, it's a fairly yeah. mid-tier effect on a, on a low-tier head. 13 keys. Yeah. And I, I mean, right here, this is all already really good profit for low-tier trading with unusuals. It's like 1.2 one keys. And you're never going to get that profit, right? Because you're going to have to pay more than this guy to buy it. And you're going to sell it for cheaper than this guy to manage to sell it. Uh, so uh, it's... Low tier unusual, you say it's dominated by bots. Low tier unusuals is absolutely dominated by bots. Yeah. What you really want to watch out for, uh, especially with such a small balance, is the the investment return ratio, right? How much money do yes. you invest, and how much do you like get in return when the trade is profitable? So, let's say you invest fourteen keys into this hat, and then you get sixteen because like, oh my god. Uh, divide by 14.8, right? You get 8% profit, right? 8%. Um, it may look minuscule, but for honest, honestly, 8% for me is already more than I did usually. And like compared to like the the deals that I showed you on the Steam Community Market, 100, yeah. 200% compared to like 8%. That's nothing. It's uh. Yeah. I mean, Minuscule. It's like one hour of <laughs> one hour and ten minutes we talked. Man, okay. Uh, Maybe uh, I can cut it down a bit.